Let's take a look at what you can do if something's not working, like touchscreen is not working on your active panel when you have a device connected to it, like a laptop. So this could be a pretty common issue that I just want to show you how to get around it, what to look for if this happens to you. So just to show you, I've got my you know, computer projecting on the panel. It's duplicating what I have connected there. And you'll notice that touchscreen is not responding. My screen's not frozen, and you need to figure out what's going on. The main reason for this, the first thing to check is do you have the USB plugged in? If you're plugging in directly, like I am here, there are two things that should be connected. So we've got the HDMI that produces our video and the audio signals, and then also the, H or the uh, USB, which is going to carry the touch screen functionality. You've got to make sure that that's plugged in. Okay, so now that that's plugged in, we should have touch screen restored. You'll notice that it's working. That's the first thing to check if you are connected with the wire. If you are connecting wirelessly, there's a little bit of a different approach, so I'm going to just show you quickly how to troubleshoot that. I'm going to unplug those so we're not connected wired anymore. And there's the screen asking us to plug it back in, but I want to connect wirelessly, so let's go back through that. We'll do the screen share option. On the computer, let's go to screen share, the icon that I have installed. Code is 453901, which is the same code as before. You have to remember to click the enable touchback so Active Panel can navigate your screen. So make sure that that box is checked. And then enter that waiting room. Okay, I believe we're coming in now. Here we go. There's the one indicating that I got into the waiting room, and now if I tap that, it'll bring me here. So if you want to make sure that you have touchscreen wirelessly, make sure that that circle is green, showing that touchback is enabled. Select that and go ahead and share it. And now touchscreen will be enabled as a reminder, that green bar or the green rectangle going over the entire screen is indicating that touchscreen should be working. Okay, so it is working, and those are just the things to check to make sure um, are correct in case touchscreen's not working for you when you connected the laptop.